Hello my dear students, welcome to my channel. I am Rajda Sudhir here with you. We have finished 3 introduction part based on algebraic expression. Today we are starting exercise 9.1. So let's see what is the first question. So here you can see identify the terms their coefficients for each of the following expression. So first question is 5x y z square minus 3 z y. So before solving our question, we have to understand what is terms and what is coefficient. I already explained in my previous videos. If you are new to my channel, please watch my previous videos. Then only it will be really easy for you. I will give the link in my description box. So before starting the class, I will explain what is terms. Terms means which is a part of algebraic expression. which is separated by plus or minus sign. So I hope you understood what is terms. It is a part of algebraic expression which is separated by the symbols using plus or minus sign. So next we have to learn what is coefficient. What is coefficient? Numerical factor of a term is called coefficient. So again I will repeat what is terms? It is a part of algebraic expression which is separated by plus or minus sign. Coefficient means it is a numerical factor of a term. Now we can solve our question. So our first question is 5xyz square minus 3zy. First we can write terms. So here you can see in this algebraic expression there are two terms separated by minus sign. So first term is 5xyz square and second term is minus 3zy. You have to write the term including sign. So if you write simply 3zy means this is wrong. It is minus 3zy. So next we can write what is coefficient. So here you can see the number multiplied by variable is called coefficient or we can say numerical factor of a term. That is numerical means number, number of a term. So what is the number here? So the number multiplied by variable that is 5. So here coefficient of this term is plus 5 for positive you know you need to mention positive sign negative only you have to mention negative sign. So in this expression you can see minus 3 is the coefficient of minus 3zy. So we can solve our second question. Here you can see there are 3 terms. One x and x square. This is the first term here you can't see any coefficient because coefficient means the number multiplied with the variable. So this is not coefficient this is constant. So next we can see what is the coefficient of x. You, you know that x means 1 multiplied by x so coefficient of x is 1 and coefficient of x square is 1 because 1 into x square that also 1. I hope you understood first and second question. Now we can do the third question. Let us solve with our third question. So first we have to write terms. Next we can write coefficient. So in this question you know that there are three terms. So first we can mention our terms 4x square y square. Second term is minus 4x square y square and z square and third term is z square. So what is the coefficient of 4x square y square? You know that the number multiplied with the variable is called coefficient or numerical factor of an expression. So here what is the numerical factor? So 4 is the coefficient of this term. So next term is minus 4x square y square z square. So the number multiplied with the variable is called coefficient. So which number is multiplied? 4 but the sign what is the sign here? 
minus 4. So, you have to mention the negative sign. If no need to mention the positive sign because 4 means plus 4. But you have to mention the negative sign. Next term is z square. So, what is the coefficient of z square? You know that z square means 1 into z square. So, what is the coefficient of z square? 1. So, we finish with our third question. Now, we can do our fourth question. So, here first we can write terms. So, here in this expression there are four terms. So, what is the coefficient of 3? I said here there is no number multiplied with variable. This is constant. So, we no need to consider this number. So, we can do this one. So, what is the coefficient of minus pq? Q minus 1 into pq that is minus 1. So, minus 1 is the coefficient of minus pq qr 1 into qr. So, 1 is the coefficient of qr and minus rp minus 1 is the coefficient of minus rp. So, I hope you understood third and fourth question. So, our fifth question is x by 2 plus y by 2 minus xy. So, first we can write our terms. So, in this expression you can see there are three terms. So, you know that what is the coefficient of this term? x by 2 means 1 by 2 into x is called x by 2. So, what is the coefficient of x by 2? 1 by 2 is the coefficient of x by 2. Correspondingly, we can write 1 by 2 into y is y by 2. So, what is the coefficient of y by 2? 1 by 2. So, minus xy is minus 1 into xy. So, coefficient of minus xy is minus 1. So, we can do our sixth question. So, here also there are three terms. So, what is the coefficient of 0.3a? You know that 0.3 into a is 0.3a. So, coefficient of 0.3a is 0.3. What is the coefficient of 0.6 into ab? Minus 0.6. So, what is the coefficient of 0.5b? 0.5 into b is 0.5b. So, coefficient of 0.5b is 0.5. So, we finish first question of exercise 9.1. I hope you understood what is term and what is coefficient. Terms means it is a part of an algebraic expression which is separated by plus or minus sign and coefficient means numerical factor of a term or number multiplied with a variable. So, I am ending today's session. If you need any clarification, please mention in the comment box. If you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe and put valuable comments in the comment box.